everybody welcome back to another vlog today i have a lot of things to do to work on i've got to organize the sneaker laundry because they've got this promo on at the moment if you guys head to www.sneakerlaundry.com.au they're giving away their new product and that new product is a sneaker deodorizer so like you know how you're having a long day or you're at the gym you're playing sports and your feet kind of smell well this you can just spray it on and it smells minty fresh so what they're doing is they're giving that away for free all you guys have to do is pay for shipping so what i need to do is i need to start wrapping and packing a whole heap of them so when the orders come in i can just stick on the people's addresses and names and all that so it's a lot faster but i am really really hungry i'm having a little bit of a late start today so i'm gonna go make myself some breakfast or lunch i don't even know what time it is and also a tea let's start the day I don't know why, but lately I have just been wanting sandwiches. I even had a sandwich for dinner last night. So I'm going to make myself a nice avocado, ham and lettuce sandwich. Very, very basic, very, very high school of me, but it's really good and it's pretty healthy as well. That is my quick, simple, healthy lunch. It would be healthier if I had like wholemeal or like multigrain bread, but can't go wrong with white bread. So this right here is the sneaker deodorizer spray, if you guys can see it. It's reasonably small, it's about the same size as my hand. It's perfect to put in like your purse or your bag or your sports bag or anything. You can just take this anywhere. But what I'm doing right now is I've cut up my tissue paper. It's usually double the size of this, so I've cut it in quarters because what I need to do is I need to start wrapping all of these so that when it gets shipped, it doesn't get damaged in packaging. And I don't want to be wasteful and use a whole sheet of tissue paper for just one little product. As you guys can see, there's eight tissue papers in the one, which I turned into four. So now I have 32 pieces to use as tissue paper. The tissue paper also makes the packaging look a little bit nicer because I add a sticker. And now this is a lot more cost effective, which is perfect. I also just get these from like the local $2 shop because our local lady, she's so, so, so nice. So I'll always just try and support her and go down there. just finished doing all the sneaker deodorizer sprays and now I can finally work on this right here this is the bag that I showed you guys in our previous vlog and I'm finally gonna finish doing the design so I can get all the rest made I did want to embroider on it however I've realized that embroidery is not going to work just because of the design and everything so I think I'm either tossing up between the mini box logo right here or we have a bigger one so I'm gonna show you guys the difference this is what the mini box logo looks like on the bag. I like this. I don't know why. I think it's a little bit more subtle because when I put this one on, it is just so big and in your face. And I really am all about like that subtleness. And this is mainly aimed at the females. So I don't think we really want to have like huge branding going across our chest. I reckon this one's going to be good. But if I do this, I want to add on a strap to the end of it right here. So I'll show you guys what I've organized. Over here, I've got like these keychain things. We bought these a while ago, but I haven't really found anything to use them. They're really, really good clips. They're so thick and sturdy. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting our straps in it and sewing it. So I'm gonna kind of just do a quick test to see how it goes. So there we have it, that is just like the little keychain. I forgot to change the bobbin below. As you guys can see, like the thread is a gray color instead of black, but it's just a test. So let's clip it on and see what it looks like. That's what it looks like with the clip attached. It's not awful. I'm gonna try it on and see how it looks. I don't know if this is a little bit too chunky. I might actually need to find something a little bit thinner like this ring over here or just something not as full on because if you can see the difference between the two, I don't know if I like it as of yet. I might get used to it though. Let's put it on. So this is the final bag right here, I think. I might make a few more adjustments, but I'm definitely liking this mini box logo over the big one. I think it's just like, as I said earlier, more subtle. If it was the other one, it would be like huge and taking up this whole area. At least like this, it's simple. And if I am wearing a cooler outfit, you can like see everything else rather than just be attracted to this. And I'm actually digging this strap right here that's dangling down. 
Still not sure about this. I think I'll have to think about it, but I definitely want to attach something to this zip area. What do you guys think of it? Should I leave it as it is or should I change this area here? Just tried and tested out the circle ring and I'm definitely digging this one a lot better. It flows more, it's not as chunky and thick and it's really good. And also another bonus thing I've noticed is you guys can actually detach this, put onto your wallet or whatnot. Really, really cool. I'm gonna start sewing a bunch of these. Today has been a day full of so many deliveries. I haven't showed you guys any of the stuff so far just because it's all pretty much for how and I will let him show you guys because sometimes I open and I show you guys things and he's like, why didn't you leave it for me? But this one is mine and I'm so excited to open it and see what it's like. This is a sample of some new crop jumpers that I'm gonna get done for the new season. And it's a new style. Oh my goodness, the feeling of this is so good. It's thick just like our other jumpers. This right here is the new jumper. It's a crop jumper. It's raw cut edge. I don't know why, but I just really like this raw cut edge. But the new detailing on this is there's the cocaine logo on the hood, which it's pretty cool. I'm really liking it. However, I think the logo just need to be flattened a little bit if you guys can see it's a little bit long and squished inwards however it's really really good i'm gonna try this on and see what it feels like oh my goodness i'm so happy with it i hope the cut she got exactly as to how i wanted so obviously there's like such a lengthy process in getting clothes you want made as i guys just showed you the logo is a little bit different to how our normal logo is so Going online, talking to them and all of that stuff, you need to get everything down to a T. I'm just trying to adjust myself right now. Oh my goodness, the fit of this is really good. The hood is so big as well. It's like not super crop, but it's not like long. Let me adjust this camera and show you guys. Is this a little bit of a better angle? I don't know if that's a good angle, but this kind of gives you the idea of the new thing that's coming out. I'm loving this hood right here. It's so cool. I love the detailing. It's just going to honestly be simple like this. I was thinking of like getting the mini cocaine logo printed on here or embroidered, but I think I just want to leave it as is and make the hood the main detailing of this. I like the drawstrings as well. It's long and it's just got the tips. I think I would maybe change the tips to a silver one or just an all black one because this one is kind of like this dark gray silver color but the quality of it is perfect only thing is obviously just the logo just needs to be adjusted a bit i'm so happy though it looks so good and the fit as well it's got like a little bit of a drop shoulder but it's not as oversized as the last jumper i did and as i said it's not too cropped so it does cover your belly button it comes at about here and yay, I'm so, so happy. I just finished getting ready because tonight I have to go DJ. And before that, I'm actually going to go to dinner with my friend Monica. I think we're going to have Korean food or something. We'll figure it out when we get in the city. But I'm definitely running late. I was meant to meet her like half an hour ago, but I got a little bit distracted. So let's quickly head on there now and hope that there's no traffic at all. <laughs> Toby, Chase, everybody. It's a really, really cool, like Korean place, with drinking and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what we get. By the way, guys, look at how small and cozy our area is. So we're just like stuck in this corner. We're not even on a legit table. It's like a stool. Like it's, it's pretty cute. We ordered the corn and cheese because I was obsessed with this last time. Some kimchi, rice, and that is soju. Look. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, that was a definite fail. Do it again. But it's because it's like you're trying to pick up corn though. <laughs> Check out this guys. Like this is amazing. Look at that goo. <laughs> How good is that? Oh my god. So yum. Yeah. The next thing that we ordered is the seafood pancake. This is like That's one good. of my favorite. There is so much. I don't know how we're going to eat this and we still have like another one coming as well. Last thing that we got is like this chicken thing. I think we got this last time and it was pretty good. But luckily we didn't get anything else because this whole table is filled. Yeah. 